Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Mental Life Training Center. Welcome to our daily communion meditation, where today we're talking about how God watches over his word to perform it. So yesterday we talked about a scripture in Joshua, where Joshua, as he's leading the people into the promised land, he's taking them in. At the end of his life, he says, God fulfilled all of his promises. Every promise he spoke to us, he fulfilled. Not one of them failed. And this reminded me of this verse in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. It says, then the Lord said to me, talking about Jeremiah, he said, you've seen very well, for I'm watching over my word to perform it. Just kind of an amazing thought to me, that God watches over his word to make sure that everything he said is fulfilled. And he never fails in this, which is an amazing thing to think about. You think about some of the things that we speak, has everything we've spoken been fulfilled? When we've spoken, you can carry this out another level. It's several times in the Bible where God says that his prophets or his people, when they would speak, that God would fulfill their words for them too. I think he watches over his word, but he also watches our word when we get in tune with him to help us walk that out as well. And so we're going to take communion over this. This is a time of gratitude and awe for God. And then we can trust in his promises to us. Let's get started with our daily prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening. Their families, their friends, everybody connected to them. And all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light. Into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed, all so that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us. And the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us. And the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. And every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we're asking for your help today. First of all, we just thank you. Thank you that you watch over your word to fulfill it, to perform it. That you fulfill all of your promises. Lord, just help us to trust in that. At greater levels, reveal to us any areas where we're not trusting in that. And Father, it's just an amazing thing that you also say that you watch over our words to let none of them fall to the ground. That you help us keep our promises. If we'll believe in you, we'll trust in you. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and said, this is my body. Broken for you. Do this in your memory to me. We get this opportunity today to remember we've been made one with you. Through the sacrifice of Jesus and by his stripes we've been healed. 
raised up, seated together with you, seated together with him in heavenly places. And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. Partnership with you. And so I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go and take our juice. Right, let's talk about some health and fitness tips. Because I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. A very simple concept. We've talked about it quite often. Always finish your workouts with a little bit of margin left. Especially on the days when you feel great. Don't use it all up. Save a little bit of margin. Leave your workout feeling like you should have done a little bit more. You can be amazed. It helps you come back refreshed. So that on those low days, you didn't use it all up. It's going to smooth things out. You're going to have uh, some not quite as many of the, the very low days. You're going to have more just consistent days. But I hope this is not for today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing, you go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.